you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Get the Trippin, and I am so excited because I'm going to teach you guys today dart pivoting or dart manipulation, how to manipulate the darts, how to pivot them in an easy way. But anyways, you guys, thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I now have like 967 or 69 subscribers and that makes me really really happy and I can see that a lot of people are watching my videos especially um, the last time for my pattern making basic series um, the basic bodies and now I uploaded my basic stage tutorial and a lot of people are watching now thank you guys so so much for supporting me and for supporting my YouTube channel and for supporting my tutorials anyways you guys last time we have finished your shoulder dart and your basic sleeves and the dart on your basic sleeves. But today, I want to explain the importance of darts. So darts are used for shaping the bust and for shaping the hip, shaping your, your backside, which is your butt. <laughs> so darts are there to determine the shapes and it's very important as a pattern maker to understand darts. So today, what I am going to do is, I am going to teach you guys how to pivot them, how to move darts, and the different styles, and how to manage it, like if you want to have a French seam, if you want to have a side seam, if you want to have a neck seam, I am going to teach you all of the styles today. But anyways, you guys, I'm really excited. I'm going to go to my work table, and I am going to start my tutorial today. Let's go! So these are the materials that you will be needing for this tutorial. Ruler, your basic bodice block, your pencil, tracing wheel, and of course your pattern paper. So the first style that we are going to do is we are going to transfer the two darts, the shoulder bust dart and the waist dart, into your side seam. So after you mark your bust point, you are going to locate the dart opening here on the side seam. So just mark anywhere. And the thing that you are going to do is you are going to trace from the point, from the mark of your new dart. Trace your side seam, your waistline, and you are going to stop here on the first mark of the opening of your waist dart. And then what you're going to do next is you are going to transfer the dart you are going to close it. Make it sure that your bust point is still aligned. There you go. Still aligned. So now that it is closed, you are going to trace your center front. Don't forget to notch all of the important marks over here, like your bust line, chest line. The trace up here on your neckline so what you're going to do is you are going to mark the first line of the opening of your shoulder bust dart and just like earlier what we did on the waist dart you are going to close it like this making sure that your bust point is on point there you go that's your bust point and you are going to trace your shoulder length to your armhole, to the notch on your armhole. Going all the way here, where you first mark your underarm side seam. And you are going to remove your block. Sorry about that. And Retrace all of your dart mark, the dart opening on your side seam to your butt point. And voila! So this is your first style which is the side seam dart. And what you're going to do next is if you are going to transfer it on your fabric, what you're going to do is you're going to close the dart get your tracing wheel and you are going to trace the lines.
The second style that we are going to do is the French seam dart. So unlike earlier, we did the side seam, so now we are going to do the French seam or the French dart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a line here on the angle of your side seam and your side front on your waistline. Okay, so again, let's mark it first where you want to transfer your dart and trace the trace your waist again we are going to close the dart oh don't forget to mark your bust point there you go a big circle over there so you guys can see that so here after you mark it you are going to close it again making it sure that your bust point is still there still on place making it sure that it's still there there you go so close it trace it on the center front and you are going to do it as well like earlier trace everything trace your neckline front waist length shoulder length and again close your shoulder dart as we did earlier on the first On the first style so you can do it like that and making it sure that your bust point is still there on place there you go close it trace your shoulder length trace your arm hole so what you're going to do next after you trace your underarm side seam you are going to mark your opening for your French dart and let's see there you go and voila that is your French dart over there So earlier on the French dart, we started off marking on this angle from your side seam and your side front. So now we are going to make a mark here on the center front angle. Mark it. Don't forget to mark it so you guys won't get confused. And trace your center front all the way up to your neckline. Making it sure that after all of this, you are going to mark your bust point. So the bust point is the main point of this tutorial of transferring all of the darts. Shoulder bust dart. Close it again. Locate your bust point. So we are going to close your waist dart again. And trace it until here on the mark on the center front. Mark where you want to locate the opening of your dart. There you go. let's move on to your fourth style which is the neckline so earlier what we did is we made a mark here on the French dart on the angle here on the center front on the angle and what we're going to do next is we are going to mark here on the angle here on your neckline transferring the dart here okay so let's start it by marking the new opening for the dart on the neckline 
trace the neckline. Don't forget to mark your bust point. That's a one huge point. <laughs> Close your shoulder dart. Close your waist dart. And mark the opening here for your dart. So there you go guys. This is the neckline dart. Uh, let's move on to the next style So this is our fifth style, so I am going to make a mark here on the armhole probably here Starting there trace the armhole Don't forget to trace the notches on the bust line Let's close the waist again Oh, by the way, don't forget your best one. Let's close your shoulder butt start again. Stopping here on the mark. There you go. So this is your new start on your armhole. Okay, so let's move on to our sixth and our last style, which is the waist dart. So I know you guys probably are confused right now, but this is our waist dart right now. And we are going to close our shoulder dart to make this dart opening even more wider. So this is it. This is the sixth and the last dart that we are going to make today. First off, you need to trace your opening of your dart here on your waistline um, whichever but I'm going to start here near the center front don't forget to mark your bust point with this technique you can actually move your dart wherever you want okay so now we're here on Shoulder dart, we are going to close it again. Keep the bus point. Where's the bus point? There you go. Trace it. So here on our last opening, here on the side front opening of our waist dart, what we're going to do is we are going to close it again. Keep your bust point. We are going to close it again. There you go. So this is your new waist dart. So it's even more bigger right now, like before like earlier there you go guys 
This is the sixth and the last. So those are the different styles for pivoting darts and those are just some. There are a lot but I didn't have the time to showcase all of them. It's a bit of, of ways for papers, for pattern papers. And especially right now during the quarantine times, during the lockdown times, I cannot buy pattern papers anymore since all of the stores are closed. But anyways, I hope this tutorial for pivoting darts, for basic pivoting darts, help you realize and understood the the function of darts and mainly darts are used for shaping the bust line, for shaping the waistline, for shaping the hip line, for shaping the back side, everything. So darts are very important for dress making, darts are very important for pattern making for ladies wear and I hope this video, this video tutorial help you guys with pivoting darts and I hope my tips and my lessons and my tutorials are perfect for you and guys if you like this video give it a huge thumbs up if you have any comments if you have any suggestions please put it down below on the comment box and if you are not subscribed yet on my youtube channel please 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 hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell button as well anyways guys Thank you guys so much for watching this video and this tutorial and I'll see you guys again on Circle Skirts and Skirts tutorial. Bye! I'll see you guys again. God bless.